Oh, um, like, you, you have some interesting views on abortion, so can you explain that? I am pro-choice. I, myself, like, if I was to get pregnant right now, I would get an abortion. Like, I, I think, I just think it's a fine thing to do. I don't think it should be illegal, I think. Hang on, a fine thing to do? I think it is a fine thing to do. I don't see it as a baby, I see it as an embryo, I see it as a cell in your body. What about if it's, um, like, I don't know, 25 weeks? Well, the legal limit in the UK is 24 weeks, is that right? I think 28. that's when you can see a heart or something is formed. Like, it stops at a certain point where, you can have a, where they have a heartbeat, I'm pretty sure. In some places, anyway. So they can have a heartbeat in, like, six weeks, though? It's something. <laughs> that's when it is. <laughs> I don't know when it is. I, th- I think it's 24, but I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know if that's when the heartbeat forms or, like, the head. I Well, anyway, I'm pro-choice. I'm all for it. I... Yeah. What are you? I'm interested in your. I'm interested. I'm interested in your views. Um. Well, my my views have shifted a lot. Um. Since the whole COVID situation, because um, I saw you know, I mean before before the whole um COVID situation, I'm not I'm not afraid to admit. I I would say I was pro life. Um, really? In the sense that I thought that, I mean the way I look at it is right. If a woman does doesn't want to give birth right no if a woman doesn't want to have a kid she can have the kid and put it out for adoption right but if she kills i mean i don't say kill that's the thing because nah. you don't think that's killing but no. it might like if a woman kills the baby um then she can never go back on that and that's if if in 20 30 years she goes oh shit what did i do she can never ever go back on that but if she you know puts off adoption there's always the opportunity you know meet the sun or just you know feel that you didn't kill it oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no first of all childbirth is traumatic like it mm. is literally the most painful thing in the entire world like you're, this is a bit TMI because the literal vagina can rip your asshole. Like if that's not the worst scissors, thing, literally, literally get scissors, yeah. if that's not the worst thing ever, like I don't know what it is. Um, that's dramatic on itself. So I don't think you should force women to go through with that. And secondly, I think placing a child in foster care because you don't want—I think you, foster care is not great. It's not a good experience for a child to grow up thinking, you know, why am I here? Like blah blah blah. It's not a scenario people want to be in. I think you should if you. Are, ha- are getting an abortion because I think when people co- use abortion as contraception as in like they just get pregnant and they keep having abortions that's bad but I think if you think this is not the right time for me to have a kid I'm not economically stable I can't, well, what's, I can't what's the right it. time what's the right time because this is this is a um, like fundamental question which I've been kind of um, asking myself a lot in my brain <laughs> like I hear this a lot like the right time to have a kid like a kid, what is it, on average costs a parent 250 grand yeah. in its lifetime. Like, there's no right time to have a kid. I think there um, is. Like, what, what's the right you, time then? For example, now, let's say if I was having a kid now, this is definitely not the right time. Like, I'm in college, I'm in part-time work, part, I'm in full-time education. I have plans for my future. And if you have a kid, that completely... It, it doesn't mean you can't reach it. I'm not saying, you know, single mothers can't reach certain goals, but, like... It completely makes it so much ten times more difficult studying when you have a child and all this money and responsibilities that you have to dedicate because you have to raise this. It's completely not the right time, but I think waiting till you have, um, you know, a house where you can, or even just not a house, but a place where this child can live, grow up. You have um, a partner who can, you know, support you as well because, like you say, there are a lot, a lot of fucking money, kids. Um, and you are mentally in the right place because it is a very, very demanding job looking after a kid and raising it. And it's a full-time commitment. 18 years you have to be with this kid. 18 years of your life. That's almost two decades you have to mm. dedicate to raising this child from zero to 18. I think having a child at 16, don't get me wrong, if, if someone's to have a child at 16 and they think they can deal with it, then that's that's perfect on them. But I think there's definitely right times for things. And I think for me personally, I think the right time for me, I mean, I could change my mind in the future, but I think the right time for me would be about 30 because I want to go to university and I want to finish my degree and I want to, you know, start a job somewhere. And I think until I have a stable, you know, monthly income, I have a mortgage or like rent a good place or whatever, the... The prospect of having a child does not interest me at all, and that, that is why, like, if I ever was to get pregnant, I would get rid of it. 
which sounds heartless, <laughs> I know. It sounds heartless, but yeah. I I just think there are right times and wrong times, and it's not... Where it, Bringing another child into this, the foster care system, which is already underpaid, and it's going to grow up and maybe not have the best process in life, where even if 10 years down the line, you could have this kid and it would have a much better future in life, I think it's much better to just wait, you know, 